they should. It's over here with a brand new video. Now, hold up, hold up. Before I even get started, check the fucking drip, yo. That's right, guys. We got Tuba merch. I am wearing the I Saw Tuba Live shirt. Tuba and the Skin Flutes Live. The Skin Flutes being uh, the opener, I guess? We also got Tuba Cam, available in multiple colors. You get a hoodie. Yeah, pretty cool. Shout out to Chill Locky of the Tuba Discord server for designing that. Yeah, support the Tuba Nage. You be dripping with this on. It's so amazing, let me tell ya. But anyways, anyways, this episode of Tuba is going to be a little different it's gonna be informative i guess a lot of people might already know this so if you guys don't like this type of stuff let me know but hopefully this will be helpful to some beginners you know just putting it into tuba terms so everyone can understand there's so many frets how do you know what note is what and then how do you even figure out what chord you're playing so don't worry i got gotcha. you how to know every note on the guitar without actually having to know every note on the guitar. You just use no set you know to reference to find the actual note. Usually all you have to do is memorize, and it's not even really memorizing, the first string, the E string. So we got E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and then we're at E again. Harmonic! If you know the notes on the first string, you automatically know every note on the third string by simply finding its octave, which would be two to the right and two up. So say we got G, third, third, third fret on E string. Oh my God, how do we find G? G on the third string. Oh, we just do the octave. Like, we're pretending we're doing a power chord and it's just picking the top one. That's also G. Oh, yeah. How do we find G on the B string now? Well, that is just... Like the same thing, power chord, except this one will be one more fret higher. That's a G right there. And then also we already know every single, every single note on the high E string because the high E string is the same notes fret as the lower E string. G on this one, G on the high E string, same fret, third fret. We're gonna go up two frets for the D string. Oh, it's on the fifth fret, Pog. Then how do we find G on the E, B string? Oh, we just go, we go up three frets. So now we're on the eighth, the eighth fret. So three, five, eight. And then we go back to three because E string, same thing as the first one. Let's talk a little bit about the A string. Now A string, you can also do the octave thing that I'm doing with the going three to five. So say we know that this note on the A string, third fret is s C, okay? Then we know that. Then we know all, then we know the notes on the G string because it's just an octave, an octave power chord thing. Up two frets, up two frets. Third, fifth, third, fifth, same note, same note, easy peasy. Now, when I play this note, fifth fret on the E string, it sounds the same as playing open A string. That's because they are both A. They're both A. Whatever note is on the E string is the same as whatever is five frets down on the A string. So say we figure out that the 10th fret on the E string is D. Okay, how do we know what D is on the, um, the A string? Oh, well, we just go... We just go five frets down. They sound the same, because they're the same. And then if you don't memorize the fretting stuff, you could always just go by ear. Find a note, the note, find the, the same note. Nothing wrong with it, nothing wrong with it. Okay, so now I'm going to just pick a random note. Random note. 
Okay, this note. What is this note? And I'm gonna try to show you how to figure out what note you're playing by doing this. The note we got. The ninth fret on the B string. All right, so let's find the uh, same note of that. Now, if you remember correctly, like I said earlier, if you're on the B string, four frets down on the um, D string, you'll get the same note. All right, so then we made our place to here, okay. Now we're on the sixth fret of the D string, okay. How we get to the E string, which we, we know good and well. Two frets down on the E string, we find the note we're looking for. Now that we've made ourselves to the E string, we know the E string, we're on the fourth fret of the E string. That's a G sharp. So our original note was this, and then we made our way down to this. And we're like, and we know it's a G sharp. So we figured out it was a G sharp. Now once you start moving bar chords around, maybe sometimes you don't know what chord you're playing. Maybe you're doing a weird shape, like a D, a D shape, like bar chord moving around. And you don't know, you're like, oh, what? No, what chord am I playing though? So let's just imagine that this is the chord we don't know. is that this is the shape of a D chord that I would be playing down here, okay? Now, what is the bass note of the D chord? Well, it's D. It's just the open. It's just the open uh, D string. So it's safe to assume that the root note is kind of like what it is. So we go up here. So I just have to find out one note to figure out what chord this is. So the bass note, the root note, this one right here. Okay. And I'm on the D string, so I could just do the octave to find the E string. Same note. Oh, so then we're on the G. G! G major. That this is G major. Oh, yeah. Now, how do you know if it's major or minor? Well, you kind of just know based on the shapes you already know. If it, if it was like this, if this cool shape, chord shape, and it was like this, then it'd be G minor. You kind of got it. If you really don't know, you could just switch between them. If you really, really don't know, but you call, you you probably could tell. You probably could tell. Yeah, that gets to some confusing things. It's just like diminished chords, but that's probably not gonna happen majority of the time, honestly. Was that helpful, guys? I would love that that was the case. But yeah, I think that's about gonna do it for now. For now, join the tool of a Discord server. G g buy on my band camp buy 12 of merch um thank you for watching i will 